Hi everybody. Today we will move a little bit further with our MPRS X8 uh, home automation board and we will um, take a look to see uh, how easy or complicated it is to change the firmware and to um, replace it with uh, ESP Easy firmware. Uh, I think uh, a lot of you know already about the ESP Easy firmware. Uh, <clears throat> it's a very very nice one and uh, can be used for a lot of things and <clears throat> it's mainly designed actually for home automation and can be uh, very easy integrated with domotics or uh, uh, other uh, solutions for home automation um, as you can see from the, the wiki page uh, it has already included a lot of uh, sensor capabilities, yes, from pulse counting, temperature, barometry pressure, light, uh, RFID, humidity, distance, uh, switching, and so on, <clears throat> to actuators and relays and uh, extra IO and PWM and displays and so on. So uh, if you don't want to do, uh, let's say, too much programming and you want a, a very, very simple solution for your uh, uh, home automation projects and ex experiments, then uh, uh, obviously uh, it's a good idea to give it a try and to see uh, how it's working. Uh, <clears throat> what we will do today, uh, I have chosen the uh, MPRS uh, X8 uh, home automation board. Yeah, uh, it it's. Um, the ESP8266 it's um, loaded with the Stardar firmware, yeah. So it has the AI Thinker uh, firmware. It, it's basically <coughs> the um, Serial 80 command uh, firmware, and uh, we will try to to replace the the standard firmware with the ESP Easy one, yeah. Um, for uh, programming the MPRS uh, Excel board and uh, for replacing firmware or even using it um, with uh, Arduino IDE. <clears throat> you can see here in, in this corner uh, we have um, a proper uh, programming header. Yeah. So uh, probably it's easier to see uh, <clears throat> On the back of the board, let's see. Maybe autofocus will help us. Okay, so as you can see here on the back, uh, you have a full programming header. So it's not only um, receive and transmit; it's a full programming header. So you have ground, you have the GPIO zero, you have receive, transmit, and the reset pin. Yeah. So through this connector you can very very easy interface your uh, home automation board with your your serial port with your programmer yeah so basically <clears throat> you can hook up here um, usb to serial adapter and you can program the board without problems yeah okay yeah also here you can see you have all the pinouts okay so um, Regarding the, the programming, as I said, just uh, you just need to to hook, hook up um, <coughs> on the programming header your uh, uh, USB adapter, and it will be ready to go. Uh, in uh, my case, uh, I choose to <coughs> to use. Um, uh, this programmer um, this is a, a little bit more than a, than a, a, a simple um, USB to serial adapter um, it's uh, actually a, a full programmer uh, that it has also uh, auto reset capabilities and as you can see here it's a fully isolated programming board yeah so that means that uh, it's no 
electrical connection between the right side and the left side yeah uh, I like to use uh, such a programmer uh, I know it's a little bit more expensive than the standard one but um, it's way safer for your computer for your USB device for uh, the device that you are working for and of course having the auto reset capabilities means that you can uh, use it and program on the fly uh, you can use it also from Arduino IDE and uh, program directly without the need to press any reset button or things like that yeah <clears throat> so uh, this is let's say the the, the standard um, serial programmer that I like to use these days but obviously you you can use any other um, uh, USB to serial uh, adapter uh, that you have around and it's compatible with uh, ESP8266 yeah okay uh, <clears throat> now regarding the the connections uh, in this case it's uh, it's very easy so basically we are we are just um, <clears throat> using as I said the, the the programming header and because this one it's an isolated um, programmer we need also uh, VCC for the board side of the programmer if you want yeah so let me show you a little bit uh, <clears throat> as I said the the left side is fully isolated from the right side yeah so that means that basically for the right side the power it's coming through the USB until here yeah and for the left side of the board the VCC is coming from the the target board yeah in our case from our um, MPRS X8 uh, home automation board. Yeah. Okay. So these are the the, the standard connections for uh, programming. Let me uh, power up the board and let's see what's happening. Okay. <clears throat> so now the, now the power is on. As you can see on the other side, the only connection that we have it's the 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 mains. Yeah, so here we have the the mains. In our case, is 245 uh, volt. Yeah, we are in Europe, so it's 245 volt, 50 hertz. Okay, so uh, first step is to it's to to check that um, <clears throat> all the connections that we have done are okay so we will try to connect on on the serial port and uh, let's see what's happening so now we are connected on the um, the allocated serial port let me press the reset button and as you can see <coughs> it's responding okay uh, it's the standard AI thinker technology uh, firmware we are obviously not interested in it it's just coming by default with the ESP8266 yeah okay so <coughs> the next step now will be to to try to program it with the uh, ESP easy firmware uh, for that um, as you can see here on the um, ESPZ uh, wiki page uh, you have the firmware available there are actually two version one it's a stable version and the other one it's a release candidate uh, as you can imagine the stable version is considered uh, more um, stable and without any bugs or at least annoying bugs uh, the release candidate um, it's the one that is bringing more and more features but uh, probably it's more buggy uh, to be honest with you I'm using the release candidate and for the simplest thing that I've done for testing 
I couldn't find any problem. So this time we are just using uh, this uh, ESPZ firmware image that it's actually uh, R R147 RCI. Yeah. <clears throat> now regarding the 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 programming um, things are are actually uh, uh, quite simple. Let me just. Uh, <clears throat> move to the directory and as you can see in the directory where I saved and extract the ESPZ uh, firmware uh, you have um, a flash command yeah that can be run by double click or of course you can run it from the command prompt as we are doing it now so <clears throat> we have flash command and we need to choose the the com port that um, it's allocated for our adapter in our case it's one uh, the flash size in our case is 496 and the build version in our case is 147 yeah so now <clears throat> As you can see, it's uh, it's uploading the the firmware on the on the board. Maybe if you look uh, if you look here, you you can see the blue LED flashing when the firmware it's uh, it's uploading yeah? here in in this corner. Yeah. <clears throat> so now it's. Uh, it's flashing the the firmware. Uh, after that, um, we will uh, connect again with the the serial terminal uh, to see <coughs> to see what's happening and if it was okay or not. Um, now it's finished, as you can see. Uh, closing bot loader. Press any key to continue. So now it should be finished. <coughs> Let me open again the serial port and <clears throat> as you can see now we have uh, the proper firmware uploaded yeah? so it's saying boot building boot build number 147 connecting connected whatever yeah so let me press reset again yeah so now everything is okay uh, we have now on our uh, uh, mprs uh, x8 board the um, uh, esp easy firmware so we can uh, start uh, playing around with it <coughs> Uh, we will see in the in the next uh, episode uh, how to set up the ESPZ firmware and uh, how to configure the MPRS uh, X8 board. Um, that's uh, all for now. Um, thank you very much for watching and uh, see you next time.